From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler, meteorologist Shay Ryan has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We now know one of the victims in the Christmas Eve double murder suicide had been in a relationship with the shooter. Lakeland police say the shooter, Leighton Josephs, showed up to a home on Atlanta Avenue on Tuesday night, shooting a woman and her male friend just as they were leaving for church. We're told Josephs and that woman had two children together, but over the last few months, their relationship had become strained. Those kids and the male victim's two children were in the house at the time of the shooting, but they are all safe. Pasco County deputies say they now know who killed a woman during a home invasion over a decade ago. Detectives say Brian Stoll murdered 79 year old Beverly Bobrick back in 2005. Investigators linked Stoll to Bobrick's death based on evidence that includes a hair found in her home. Stoll is accused of breaking into her home early in the morning and beating her to death. A reminder that starting Wednesday, January 1st, you'll be getting tickets if you're caught texting and driving. A lot of law enforcement agencies have just been handing out warnings since the new law went into effect earlier this year, but troopers are now calling it enforcement time. If you get caught texting and driving, the fine will be $30 for your first offense. In other news, wide receiver Chris Godwin will not play in the Bucks' final game of the season this Sunday. The team ruled him out after he missed his third practice in a row this week. A nagging hamstring injury has left him sidelined since week 15. He's not alone. Fellow wide receiver Mike Evans is also an injured reserve for an injury of his own. Meanwhile, quarterback Jameis Winston did practice fully today, but is questionable heading into Sunday's game against the Atlanta Falcons. Now here's Shay with your forecast. Shay. Yeah, and we are looking at uh, continued mixed skies with chances for sprinkles or showers, not only overnight, but throughout the entire day tomorrow. The coverage never gets widespread. However, it could be a bit of a nuisance from time to time. Temps over the next couple of hours and into the overnight will be in the low 70s, eventually working their way into the mid to upper 60s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Well, thank you, Shay. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.